All right, and we're off to see the wizard. Wait, what are you wearing long pants for? It's 67 degrees. You crazy, man. So we had to go to Lowe's and pick some stuff, pick, pick up some stuff. Then we had to go to, uh, where do we go? Reese? CF Reese. CF Reese, pick up some uh, met steel. I got one more there. And then we're gonna come back and fix this thingy. Make sure my camper, all right. Oh, this headpiece is cool, Walt. See what it looks like on cam. Uh, square tubing cut, because we gotta we gotta bend it and flare it for the roof. Or this thing. Oh. oh shoot the door, Walt. I forgot. Yep. Can't get through. It's a special crank. You can't get through without. Yeah. So what we gotta do is we gotta. See these steel bars right here? I mean aluminum. We're putting them in here because there was none. And we're going to sister them up against this too because this right here is bouncy. We need this to come up. So we're going to bend those bars and go between beams and lift this whole this whole unit up. That's our goal. I mean, that's our goal. Is it going to happen? I don't know, but that's our goal. We're going to lift this roof up. Probably a good two inches. I mean, in reality, because then it's gonna come back down with the weight AC, maybe inch and a half, two, maybe. Because it's really like negative. It's Raising negative. Raising the roof, baby. Raising the roof. And then what we're making is this right here. Right here, we're making a platform so we can push that roof up because we have to get the roof up before we do any kind of work. We made some jigs up with three quarter inch plywood so we wouldn't crack the tile. Up here, we're lifting the whole roof. Right here, we're lifting the roof up with another jack so we can get this up more it needs to be up okay guys we're lifting go ahead and lift go ahead oh a little bit more a little bit more that's an inch and a quarter that's it that's it that's it that's it right there tighten it tighten these screws i hear stuff flexing you go a little tighter all right sucked it in there you go all right that just lifted it that that lifted it quite a bit but i still don't think it's enough you want to see how much we lifted all right let's go okay guys is it perfect yeah. do them all like that then yeah. okay so what i'm doing is i'm bending them like this between two boards and then we got to notch out the ends turn it so we can screw it into the wall into the beam and we got new arches because it's it's arches and what is this made of arches and arches and styrofoam <laughs> aluminum arches he keep that one up there for now do one you want the bend all the same like that okay i and you know believe it or not guys when i do this i'm putting a lot of weight 200 pounds right right here i'm gonna hold on to the bus oh oh oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tap the ground just once right my feet that's it now that's where we want it right there you guys see that bend that bend right there that's where we want it right there Took a, it took me a couple times to get the right bend, Walt. But I know what to do now. Okay, it's bend number four. Yup, yeah, yeah. I hit the floor twice and that's all it takes. One, two, that's it. See, I gotta take all this die core off right here to get to the screws. Because we're trying to keep this on. You gave us three inches. He did? Dude, these burgers are good today. Nice and hot, too. Good burger. Corner barbecue, if you're interested. Those are yours, fries. Oh, okay. On sweet and tea. <laughs> see we got a sister another beam up to this a steel beam so we got to make an edge out of styrofoam we're gonna do the same thing to this side see walt did all this right here see this edge right here well he did some right there they did oh look at they hit the wires there there's wires you gotta be careful on these big bosses see He's pretty good at that stuff. He's good at being careful. I don't know where the new case is. It must be on the steps. 
able to get through there we have to customize all these at a tilt don't let yourself think that i'm not that wall's doing all the work i had to do a lot of work on that roof too i just got off the roof but i got off the roof to get the camera you had to cut the steel and bend this up so we can drill into the beam it's a good idea walt not bad for a beginner <laughs> i only interned a couple years a couple days Oh, a couple years. Metal shop, that is. Anyway. A metal shop at high school or metal shop after after school? Uh, ten years ago for seven years. Is it actual fab shop? Uh, CNC mills, CNC lathes. Why the hell are you talking so quiet? You yell at me. Um, anodizing shop, knee mills. Why do you yell at me and you talk uh, so quiet in the camera? You're supposed to scream at the camera and be nice to me. No. <laughs> People don't pick their phone up. They, you know, they got a problem and they call you call you and they don't pick your phone up your call has been forwarded every time automated... my ankle hurts a little bit you hurt yourself in the truck or something what happened did you hurt yourself in the truck no my rear ankle something's wrong with it it's just like i think it went numb from sitting in a truck yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's because i'm putting pressure on it and put some weight on it well i'll do something oh, oh jesus christ what enough? Not that much weight. It just took my heel. Now look what you did in my heel. Look at it. It bruised it. Look. See my heel? Yeah, see you did. Put some weight on it, Walt. You can't even do that. <laughs> what we did here is made a hole so we can get into the frame. Then we put a steel pipe in here to mimic to mimic these aluminum. You see how much higher? It squishes down, see? It's gonna be higher so the water would get off the AC. This is high. This is the same height as this. You can tell by a two by four, see? It's almost the same, just, a, just about. My new one might be a little higher, which is fine. So we're gonna put a slide in each one six more times. Then we're gonna screw, we're gonna screw this new pipe here together with this. So it'll support the aluminum, which just supports the AC. Well, biggest problem is that AC is pushing down. Plus, all this was rotted. So we got we got that. Then we got Luan going over it. Then we got fiberglass going over that. I think it'll be pretty rock solid. And we're gonna glue it all together too. So when it all gets done, the next one, I'm gonna put the next one right in here. This slat. Ooh, this one's not as this one's not as smooth. Oh, no wonder. Damn boards in the way. That's why I wasn't seating down. There we go. That was a rough one. There we go. There we go. I got it. Woo! That was tough. This is going to be tricky. If I can find that screw, Walt set it up. Yeah. Good. Now I got to go to the other end. Then I got to jack. Then I got to make this. Come down to this. Like that. Ah, and screw it right through. Okay. See if we can land this on oh. Walt's head. Don't we have to? No, it's working. Dude, this is working perfect. There's Walt with the Lou on. Oh, whoa. She, oh. I got two inches I can get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're on the awning. Gotta bring it down. All right, now you go. Go ahead. I got it. Oh my gosh. Well, it's like literally a perfect fit. What would you say? Say that again, Walt. You, uh, you use millimeters? Yeah. Yeah, you bet you do. Hey, got a question for you, Walt. How many pounds of glue is that? <laughs> I bet you that's at least two, two pounds. Two pounds of glue! Because we wanted to glue the rafters to the styrofoam. The new steel we put in to the styrofoam. Everybody's like, why'd you put steel in, Ross? Why not aluminum? It's gonna add weight. Well, let me tell you, that's not much weight. This is a huge bus, guys. And that's, what is that, 16 inches? That's every 16 inches, that's really close. 16 inches, I'm sorry. But you gotta keep in mind, guys, there was nothing here before. From here to here, there was nothing. Cardboard and 
the Luan was holding it up. Now we got beams where the AC is. One, two, three, four, five, six, six beams. Public doesn't want to know. What are they putting in our water wall? What are they doing to us? I mean, what are they doing? They're killing us in the water with chromium. No. Or no, fluoride. No, fluoride. No, I got fluoride is a derivative of aluminum processing, and it's a neurotoxin and an endocrine disruptor. A smart guy here, guys. No, no, no. I just, I just read. I can read. That's all. Just for now, until I get the lenses. Look at, look at the top. Wait, look at, I, I mean, it takes away from the, some of that red, illegal red stuff. It didn't take long. I mean, I didn't work hard on it. I just got to do these right here. Oh, it's got lights underneath. They work. I didn't do these three yet. That's secondaries. We're getting rid of all the red. Don't worry about it, guys. These are, I'm just looking to see what this does. Here's the primaries right here. You shut this one off. Oh, that's even worse. Oh man, look at the lights back here, Walt. That's got some lights on it. Holy cow. That does the sides too. <clears throat> See, we painted everything black. We blacked everything out. So we're gonna get uh, amber, but for now we blacked everything out. Besides up here. You got some dead bodies back there or something, Walt? What are you hiding in the back that? It is racked, stacked, and packed. You're hiding something, Walt. All right, have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. What time? Uh, four? Three in the morning, Walt? Yeah, right. What time? Tell the viewers what time. Seven. Well, they got a seven o'clock in the morning? Really that early? Seven a.m. All right, I'll have you a coffee. Bye.